Okay, so now we have question um, number seven, part B. It's the same question. This is question number seven, part B. Um, a question about normal distribution. <clears throat> okay, now um, we already worked out for part A the probability that when you have a and the heights of adult females are normally distributed with a mean of 160 and a standard deviation of 8. We found the probability that a randomly selected adult female has a height greater than 170 centimeters, and we've got that answer there. It says, any adult female whose height is greater than 170 is defined as tall. An adult female is chosen at random. Given that she is tall, find the probability that she has a height greater than 180 centimeters. Than 180 centimeters. So let's take our... Let's take our diagram here. Okay. Now, so we know that 160 is the mean. We know that um, one. 70, okay, um, is what's defined as a tall woman. And then we're asked to find the probability that her, the height is greater than 180. Okay, now, <clears throat> so basically, it says given that she is tall. Talling meaning her height is greater than 170. So basically, what we see here, is the following Let me change color okay so we're only considering those that are taller than 170 so that's our sample space okay that's like what we're looking at we're not looking at the rest of them only the ones that are greater than 170 and that's the probability of that and we need to find how many of them are in this region here okay how many of them are in this region here this part here Okay, so it's going to be the ones that are greater than 180, but the probability, uh, not from the whole group of the, the women, but the ones that are bigger than 170 or taller than 170 centimeters. Okay, so it's like this conditional probability that we've learned about. Okay, that uh, for example, the probability of A given B is a probability of the intersection between A and B over the probability of B. So basically what we got here is got the probability that the height is greater than 180 given that the height is greater than 170. That's basically what we're finding. So we've got to find the probability that the height is greater than 180 intersection with the probability that the height is um, greater than 170 over the probability that the height is greater than 170. Now, the intersection between these two is this area here. So basically, what we have to find is the probability that the height is greater than 180. That is actually the same as this, because it's completely contained within that. Okay? The ones that are greater than 180 are completely contained within the ones that are greater than 170. So that will be the probability that the height is greater than 170 over the probability that the height is greater than 170. Okay, so we already worked out what this is. Now we've got to work out what the, the probability that the heights are greater than 180 is. So the probability that the height is greater than 180, okay, we've got to first um, work that out. So let's do that now. The probability that the height is greater than 180 is equal to the probability that Z is greater than, you've got 180, minus the mean, which is 160, over the standard deviation, deviation, which is 8, which is the probability that Z is greater than, now it's going to be 20 divided by 8, greater than 20 over 8. Okay, now that's the probability that Z is greater than, now that's 10 over 4, which is uh, 5 over 2, which is 2.5. Okay, 10 over 8, 10 over 4, sorry, 5 over 2, 2.5. So we've got to find the probability that Z is greater than 2.5. Now remember, 
you know, in the table we, we see what's less than naught is greater than. So that, that's the same as saying, so the probability that z is greater than 2.5 is the same thing as 1 minus the probability that z is less than 2.5. Okay? Because the probability that z is uh, greater than 2.5 is this area here, but the, the these, the, the table only gives us the area what's to the left of that. So we want 1 minus that to give us this area. So we've got to go to 2.5 on our table, which is 0 0.9938. 0 0.9938. So we go to 0 0.9938. So you have 1 minus 0 0.9938. And that will be the probability that the height is greater than 180. So we have 1 minus 0 0.9938. Whoops, too many nines there. Okay, that gives us um, a very small number. Hold on. Okay, you go 0 0.0062. 0 0.0062, 0 0.0062. Okay, so now we can do what we said. We want to find the probability. Our answer is going to be the probability. So we got the probability that the height is greater than 180 over the probability that the height is greater than 170. That's the answer for this part of the question. So we've now found this, which is 0 0.0062. 0, 0, 0062 divided by our answer for the first part, which was 0 0.1056. 0 0.1056. And we'll see that gives us divided by 0 0.1056. And it gives us the answer 0 0.0587. 0 0.0587. 0 0.0587. So there's the answer for part B. That's the probability that uh, a woman's height will be greater than 180 given that she is tall, i.e., given that her height is bigger than or bigger than 170. Given you know, we're only we're only concerned with the heights of people who are greater than 170. We're taking the sample space. Okay, so that's the answer to that part of our question. Okay, so um, <clears throat> for part C now, this question, um, they've told us that half of all, sorry, half of tall adult females have a height greater than H centimeters. Um, find the value of H. So remember, tall adult females is defined in the question as those who have a height greater than 170 centimeters. And we found in part one, the ones, uh, the probability of the height being above 170. Okay, so let's say that's 170 there. Okay, um, we know that the area here is 0 0.1056. So one half of these, okay, one half of this, okay, let me just make that a bit neater. You can say 1.056. So one half of these will have a height greater than H. So let's just put here H. Some, oops. Where is it? A line H. Okay, let's see H is over there. Okay, that means a half of this area. So this area here is going to be a half of that area there. Okay. So that's 1.056 divided by 2. So you have 1.056 divided by 2. 1 point, sorry, 0 0.1. 0 0.1056 divided by 2. That gives you 0 0.0528. That's 0 0.1056. Okay, sorry about that. Of course, it can't be more than one, can it? 0 0.0528. 0 0.0528. Okay, you've got to take care of silly mistakes like that. 
Okay, so that means we got to find the probability. Okay, we're going to find the probability that, uh, or we know that the probability that the height is greater than h is equal to 0.0528. Okay, and we kind of standardize this so we can say that the height that we want minus the mean, which is 160, over the standard deviation, which is um, 8. If we look in the beginning of the question, remember it was the heights are such that they are normally distributed with a mean of 160 and a standard deviation of 8. That's what was from the beginning of the question. So we know that um, this is the value of Z, okay? Um, that we, we, we know that this is the value of Z. So H, uh, the height that we want, minus 160 over 8, okay, is equal to, um, that gives us, we want to find what this value is here. So basically what we got to do is, we got to find out what is this value in terms of Z first. Okay, in terms of Z. Okay, the tables will tell us what it is in terms of Z. Okay, so we want to find uh, wh which of these have an area of 0 0.0528 to the left of them. Okay, what's the value of Z? Okay, what's the value of Z such that the area to the, to the right of it is 0 0.025, 0 0.0528. Okay, now remember, our table only tells us what's to the left. Okay, so we want to find um, the table from the table the area which is 1 minus this. So if you do 1 minus 0 0.0528, okay, that will be the area that we can find from our tables. So we do 1 minus, okay, what we just found there which gives you 0 0.9472. So 0 0.9472. 72. Let me just make sure I put that right. 9472, that's right. So that's what we got to look for in our table. So we're now looking at the same table. We're now looking at the area part, the second column. 0 0.9, what was it? 0 0.9... 0 0.9472. 0 0.9472 okay so 9472 the closest we're going to get to that is this value here 9474 so it's 1.62 okay the value of z we're going to use is 1.62 so i know now that the value of z i'm going to use is 1.62 so i know that this is equal to 1.62 okay that will be the value of z at this point here but i don't want to convert it into the height Okay, so let's just move this stuff out of the way a bit. Okay. All right. So now we can continue and find what H is. So H is going to be basically 8 times 1.62 added to 160. Okay, so you have 1.62 times 8. So you have 1.62 multiplied by 8 and add it to 160. And that gives us our answer as 172.96. 172.96. So we can round that to 173.0. 173 to 307. So 173 centimeters will be our answer. That is the height Okay, uh, which, okay, um, half of, that is the height that all uh, adult females have a great, uh, all tall adult females have a height greater than it. All tall adult females have a height that's greater than 173 centimeters. Okay, so basically what we had to do is we knew that a half of this area, okay, that H is going to occur when that, that area is split into two halves, equal halves. So we want to find the, the value of the height such that the area to the right of it is 0 0.0528, which means the area to the left of it is 1 minus that, okay, because the table only tells us the area to the left. So we know that we're looking for the area of 0 0.9472, but that's the standardized area, so we have to unstandardize it, okay? That's the value for Z, okay, which is 1.62. We want to find it in terms of the height. 
So we say the, the, the value that we need minus the mean over the standard deviation. That, you know, basically is rearranging that will take us away from the standardized value of Z and make it into the actual heights that we're talking about. Okay? And there we have the answer to this question. I hope that was clear.